Well, hello guys. I haven't vlogged in I don't know how many years. So much has happened and changed in my life. So this is after COVID, after pandemic. <laughs> this is so weird. How are you guys? I want to get into back into the rhythm of um, vlogging again because I haven't done it in a while. I had, like I said, there's a lot of lot of things that have change in my life as you could see i have cut off all my hair i did the big chop a little less than a month ago i was just tired of my hair I just felt like it was kind of brittle it was damaged and i just needed a change i wanted to cut my hair for a long time and i felt like listen it's just hair it doesn't make me and it doesn't define my beauty because yes i am beautiful I just decided to cut my hair, it's nothing, it's just hair, it'll grow back eventually if I want to. I'm actually like okay with my short hair. I look a little busted right now because I... So let me start from the beginning. Last week, I sent my passport and everything to the consulate of Ghana in New York. I requested the express option for no reason, apparently, because fast forward a week later, and they still hadn't sent me my passport so i had to take off and go to the consulate yesterday wednesday to see what was up with my visa because i was supposed to fly that same day i go there and they say that they did get it but um the consulate was closed for two days because they had lied because of the uh, the end of ramadan so I was like, okay, so they did confirm that they had my stuff. They processed the visa. They gave me all the paperwork. I got my visa. I was so happy. Then I went home and then I had to pack all my stuff. My mom gave me a bunch of stuff and um, I had to pay for it once I get to the airport because of course I had too many kilos with me. Now I have arrived this morning in Paris. I'm working from home until 9.30 p.m. here, which is 3.30 p.m. in the U.S. So sorry if I'm like all over the place right now. It's just weird because I haven't vlogged in so long, one. And two, um, like I said, I'm a little bit out of it. I'm jet lag. I'm working at the same time, but listen, you only live once, right? I am leaving tomorrow with my girl, Christelle. We're going to Ghana. It was supposed to be a big group of us. And then, like, with time, like, people dropped off. And they were like, no, we can't come. And this person couldn't go. And then this person couldn't do this. So now it's just her and I. And uh, I want to vlog that. I haven't been in Africa in so long. Last time I was in Africa was in 2000... I don't even remember. It's been 10 plus year. I went to Guinea, my country, but I haven't been since then because life, kids, pandemic, and all that. Now I'm going to Ghana, which is super exciting because I only heard like great things about Ghana and I know I've always wanted to go over there. I'm going for 10 days. I want to take you guys on this trip, on this little journey. It's going to be so much fun. Welcome back and uh, stay tuned. I know. There is a big ass fly in here. It is 12.52 New York time and it is 6.52 Paris time. At least it's nice because usually uh, the weather here is not all that but pretty nice today. Can't wait to take a shower. Yes, because I came in and first thing I did was being in my computer. Oh, let me show you. This is my workspace. Yeah, that's it. Later. Isn't it beautiful? Taking a quick break. The sun is out. Bun's not out yet. Fred! Oh yeah, no, yeah. So we are on our way to the airport right now. My friend came to get me. Babet and Christelle, she's the one who's coming with me yes. to Ghana. There's a little bit of traffic on the road, but it's not too too bad. This one, she's all dressed up. We would like to know why she's dressed up, but she don't want to tell us. She's not telling me where she's going. And we want to know where she's going. She's going to a, a secretive meeting. Secretive meeting? No. So, this is the traffic right now. 
Ah, ça, ça bouge pas pour de vrai. Ça bouge pas. Hein. Ah, T'as parlé français. <rire> C'est pas grave. Il y a des gens, il y a des Français qui me suivent. Oh, really? oh. Yesterday, I was supposed to record what I was doing, but of course, I forgot. My friend came to get me, and we went to eat at this Japanese restaurant next to my house. And uh, I didn't do too much. I was tired anyway. This morning I woke up and now back to the airport. We did a uh, check-in and now we're just gonna go see my friend Babette because she's not coming. Get something to eat. And then we're gonna get something to eat. She was talking about getting McDonald's. I'm like, you're crazy. We're trying to like stay fit here. So, Babette is trying to see if she's gonna come with us to Ivory Coast. Yeah. We don't know yet. I Did you find anything? See. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> Corona. Did I'm you find anything? Like what? Were you two looking for flight? Oh, no, I didn't find something good. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. check. I gotta check. No, wait, wait. I'm you scared. didn't check? So I checked, check, but I gotta time. wait a little bit. I was working. I have a job, you know? Okay. All right. Oh, I like his skin. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Time to eat. And this one is eating McDonald's, but we're supposed to be on the diet, right? Je le mérite. J'ai fait beaucoup de sport cette semaine. Comme par hasard. So we just made it. I almost missed the flight. I had to run. <laughs> she was good. But I'm like sweaty all over the place right now. But we made it. So we are on our way to Ghana. I can't even breathe. The plane is like super cute and super clean. It doesn't look like the plane that I got when I was coming from New York and it's empty, which is great. <laughs> so I didn't know we could get champagne. She just told me that I'm so I'm such a like person from the village. I thought that the only thing you could drink is like soft drinks. So I ordered champagne and um, orange juice. So I made myself a bellini. And she's drinking straight champagne. Yes. Cheers. We have arrived in Ghana. I'm so happy. Christelle? Hey. Happy to be in Ghana? Yeah. yeah. And this very nice man who's hiding. <laughs> yeah, basically we didn't have no Wi-Fi and somebody's supposed to come pick us up. Paul is his name. We didn't have no Wi-Fi so this man that just ran because he don't want to be on camera. Lend us his phone so we were able to call him. So now Paul should be here in like a few minutes. But so far so good. The airport was super smooth. Everything was good. Oh yeah, and we made a friend <laughs> that lives in South London. His name is Zola. Zola. So this is Zola. <laughs> He's here for um, two weeks. Aww. Look at you, we're nice. Marcel, what are we doing now? Getting a SIM card so we can get reached at all times. <laughs> So we can make phone calls and not get a crazy bill, and phone bill at the end. Somebody outside. <laughs> yeah, at the end of our stay here. And this is the airport, we're still at the airport. So this is where we're staying at. This does not look like the Africa that I know. <laughs> oh, wow! Ah ouais? Ouais, sinon ça va. Mais ça là, les clés par contre c'est pas... La porte là elle est pas super super. Ah ouais, la porte là vraiment. Mais attends, ça va fermer? Oui, t'as la clé. Hein. Oui, oui. Non, c'est mieux, c'est mieux, laisse 
comme ça, pardon. Mais ils vont pas. Il y a personne qui va rentrer Mon gars, là, c'est pas du tout. So the light is not that great here with my camera. Um but the apartment is really, really cute. Right now, we are getting ready to go eat. I'm not too sure where we're gonna go eat. We're supposed to meet up with some friends in Accra. So I'm probably going to, you know, vlog once we there. But um, yeah, I'm ready. For once, I'm ready first. Nobody's waiting on me. I wanted to do my hair, but I don't know. I don't feel like redoing it. Oh, I just did my um, sideburns and my baby hairs real quick. But I don't feel like re-wetting my hair and all that. Like, I just took my shower, got ready, and reapply a little bit of makeup. Yeah, the light is not that great here. It makes me look yellow. I'm gonna show you guys the um, outfit. It's something really simple. I didn't really know what to wear. I mean, the good thing here in Ghana is that the roads are great. So I think I could wear heels. At first I wanted to wear flats, but I'm not so sure where we're going. So um, let me show you my outfit. So the problem is that there's only one big mirror in the house. Um, that's like the one thing that I would have liked in the rooms. They still have another mirror, so I guess I'm gonna show you guys here my fit. So the light is a little better here. So very simple. I gained some weight because this jeans was not as tight and it's very tight now. So yeah, that's it. So we made it to the first night, right? Yes. I don't know how. We both lost our voices. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to vlog, but um, yeah, I forgot to take my camera. Um, so basically, um, we got ready and then we went to eat at this restaurant, Braza. Braza is called or something like that. Um, we went to this lounge. Christelle, what was the name of that first lounge? Christelle? Yeah. What was the name of that first lounge? Twist? No, Twist was the second? Yeah, Twist. No, Twist was the second, no? What was the first one? Zulu or something, no? Zulu, she said. Zulu? <laughs> We went to like one like one popular um, lounge and it was real nice and then after that we went to Twist and apparently like that's what people do so they go from one to one. We were supposed to go to Ace. And then we were supposed to end up at Ace but yes. <laughs> mind you we got here today and the night before I slept three hours she slept zero so we like jet lag we tired. Ace was just too much for us, so we called it a night and we came back home. Um, right now it's 5 something a.m. in the morning. We're supposed to be ready around like 9.30 or something like that because we were supposed to go to this event at 10.30. Not sure we're going to make it. If we don't make it, we'll just go chill by the pool or something. And then go to brunch like around 12.30 or something like that. Guys, I am going to sleep right now because I am tired. Good night. Hello world. We slept um, a total of three hours. Christelle's friend is supposed to come get us in less than an hour. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm wearing. There's an event going on um, that starts at 10.30, then there's the brunch, and then there's something else. I am so tired. And this bed feels so good right now. I don't know if you could see it, but I'm peeling from the sunburn I got when I went to Aruba. Hey, girl. <laughs> She's showing me the outfit she's going to wear later. Oh, I vlogged yesterday, but I don't even know what I said. I don't know if I talked about the girls that we saw. They are beautiful. I think I was underestimating Ghanaian girls. Like, you Ghanaian girls are beautiful. What? And the bodies? I have a little bit of a headache, so I'm going to get going and talk later. Bye-bye. Outfit number two. Yes, everything from Zara, as always. Daytime. <laughs> we just took like four pictures and everybody is sweating like we just sprinted or something. It's hot. It is really hot. But we like hot. I'm not gonna complain. Let me check outside. It's outside. I'm afraid that everything is on the side. Bon, je vais faire style, je filme un peu. <rire> Hello. <coughs> I haven't vlogged in a few days. I know I, I was too busy enjoying the country. <laughs> What did we do yesterday? Um, yesterday we went to br for brunch. Oh yeah, so yesterday we went to an event. Oh yeah, I did vlog that. Care. Then we went to eat at a brunch spot. It was super, super nice. Then after that, we went to a premiere. It was super whack. <laughs> it was whack. <laughs> it was hot for no reason. We went to eat at front back and then... Went to and then went to... to <laughs> Ali? No, front back is uh, the lounge thingy. Okay, and Ali. And then we went to eat at Ali, something okay, like that. Yes. Anyway. So then we ended up in the pool and we were, oh my God, we had so, so much fun. fun. So, so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. But then we had to leave the other places because we were supposed to be there only for two days. So now this is our new location. Um, Embassy Gardens. And uh, we are waiting for the host to bring our stuff inside. And then after that, we're going to try to eat at a local place because I've been craving for local food. And I feel like everything we've been eating is... Americanized and stuff, so I need some fufu. Yeah, we need some fufu we need and some African and the food, soup like local and all that. African food. Yeah, like I'm tired of French fries and chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yesterday I ate chicken wings. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, it was good. Don't don't get me wrong. It was super good. Yeah. So this is our street. I don't know even know the name of the street, but this like, is it. Like Embassy Gardens. Yeah, Embassy Gardens. Yeah. Today is not that sunny. It's a little humid. It's nice. It's, it's windy though. And hot. Yeah. Yeah. 
but it's gonna get um, cooler. We're supposed to go to the beach today. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to the beach, but I don't know if it's gonna happen today, so I'm not sure. Why not? I don't know, what are we doing after eating? Do they have their bathing suit? <laughs> Good All right, day. goodbye. All right, guys, we're going to eat at a local restaurant, finally. Yes, this is what we like to see. I was craving for this. I was done with the, not done, but just tired of the Americanized restaurants and all that. about to eat fufu with towel and salmon and a bunch of things in it. <laughs> what? I said fufu and RM. What does that mean? Fufu and RM.
Hello guys, I haven't vlogged in like 2-3 days. I guess I was just living in the moment and kind of like forget my camera. We went out to this place called Kozo, it's really really nice, it's like a um, lounge type of setup. The food was very good. So we went like two days ago, but we got there like kind of late and the kitchen had closed. So we went back the next day to make sure we get food. And what else did we do? <gasps> yes, so my camera died when we went to um, the castle. And then after that we went to the rainforest. And uh, that was fun. I have some footage from that, but it's like from my phone. so. The quality won't be like as great. Bon, on est coincé sous la pluie dans la forêt. On devait traverser le pont, mais euh, voilà quoi. C'est pas beaucoup de temps. Hein. But it was really nice and. While we were there, we got caught up in the rain, and uh, that was fun. We are deciding to work out, so we're gonna try to work out at least today and tomorrow, because on Friday, we're flying to Ivory Coast just for the weekend, and then we're coming back to Ghana. I'm done working out. We did some calisthenics. And the problem is that the window's open, so there's no AC in here. And I did three sets and I'm done. Like I haven't worked out in so long, but I'm done. This pool is calling my name. So now she has to finish the set. I'm done with my set. How was the workout? It was nice actually. Yeah. It felt good. So this is the complex where we at. This was the gym over there. That's where we were. And it has a view on the pool. And now we want to go home, shower, and go eat some fufu again because we loved it so much. Kind of defeats the purpose. We just worked out, but guess what? We worked out so we could eat fufu. <laughs> Hey, today is Thursday and we are on our way to a local market to buy a bunch of souvenirs and little, you know, typical stuff from Ghana to bring back home. Uh, we are in the city. There's a bunch of traffic because it's rush hour right now. I'm gonna stay in this country forever. <laughs> like seriously, I've never had so much fun. Nice. Whoever never visited Ghana, uh, you guys need to come here. It's really nice. 
People are laid back. Food is good. We were told the food wasn't that good, but it's kind of good. Yeah, it is kind of good. And if you come, must, must try the fufu. Yeah. With the, um, the with soup. the soup. Yeah, they call it soup. soup. We, we call it gravy, but they call, they call it, it soup. soup. All right, so we are at the, how you call it here? <laughs> Freedom and Justice something, we forgot the name. How you call this thing? So this is a black star, man. Should I view on the whole street? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Quick view of the history, what's your name? My name is Francis. Francis. You're gonna be on YouTube, Francis. Okay, no problem. Right, so um, welcome ladies to the Independence Square, right? Uh, however, the Independence Square has three monuments. So we are on top of one of the monuments. This is the Black Star Arc, right? And uh, on our left, this is the Black Star Square. Huh? And the last one, look there. So uh, in 1939, there was Second World War, and Ghana was under the British colony. So they used our soldiers to fight for the British. About 65,000 of them fought for the British in Burma. And uh, when the war ended in 1945, some of them survived, right? And the British promised them end of war benefits, but they never gave them. Mm -hmm. So three years after the war, that is in 1948, these soldiers decided to march to the castle. So look there, you can see the castle. Right here. Right, that white one. Petition the governor so we could do something about their situation. However, when they got to the junction, they were met with the security. Who ordered them to turn back? They refused, so one British police, Colin Emery, took a gun and shot him to the ground. So three soldiers died instantly on that day. These soldiers were soldiers who fought for the British. So the Ghanaians became so angry. At the time, we were looking for independence already, but mm -hmm. they uh, didn't get it. So there was a retaliation against the British government. Right? So they were looting, destruction of properties, vandalizing of properties, mainly targeted at the British. And eventually, they set up a commission, and the commission recommended our independence. Nine years for that to happen. Oh, wow. In 1957, 6 March, mm -hmm. Ghana became the first black African country to yes. political independence. Mm. So I don't know if you know Marcos Gabi. I don't know if you heard about Marcos Gabi. <laughs> so Marcos Gabi was a Jamaican, but was a black liberator fighting for the people, the black people in the United States. And he wanted the United States of Africa. So to do that, he was supporting businesses. Among them was a Black Star Line that he created, called a, a ship line, called the Black Star Line, right? So he could not succeed his dream, couldn't achieve it. So when our president came and Krumah had the opportunity, he wanted to continue, he wanted to reincarnate the vision. So he chose the Black Star to represent the black identity and black unity so mm. that we also achieve. That's where it comes from. We started. That's why we have the Black Star on top of this arch. Okay. The arch, when at the time built, served as an inspiration to the rest of Africa because Ghana was a space setter. So he wanted to inspire the rest of Africa to also fight for their independence. That's why we have Ash. Mm. Now that we have independence, this ground was built for the celebration of our independence. Mm. So every 6th of March, we wow. uh, celebrate it. So the 6th time they cried down by actions with it. Right. So we talk about the last thing we can find on the square. It's a lonely soldier standing there, lonely statue soldier. Where? So this one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah, so this soldier is called the Unknown Soldier. Okay. So this one represents the soldier who died in the war for did not come back home. Mm. So basically, these are the of black Thank you so much for that little history course. <laughs> Thank you. Like I was saying, in 1957, there was an unofficial visit of the Queen in Ghana because uh, she didn't want it to be. However, when she came, you know, she liked to carry a handbag. Mm -hmm. The handbag that she brought, but what motivated the architect of the buildings to have that structure. So that is the handbag. Oh, oh okay, makes sense. Oh, All right. So just bonus. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we like that. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Well, the, Ghana, the Ghana Black Star football this Local business comes support her. Her products are real good quality. 
I'm getting the black sub lemon grass, one from me and one from my mom. And then the three in one cacao, coconut, and shea butter. This is Jam Along. This is yourself from Guinea Conakry. This hey, is my shop. You know, Guinea I Conakry, do, my country. Yes, I do art and craft, you know. You guys have to come see this. Yeah, you he can has see the feed, the brows, the carvings, the t shirts, and the beach wear for the ladies. Mm. And big up yourself. This is African. Handmade. Yeah, man. Ghana. All right. My name is Jam Along. Thank you. Rastafara. Big up yourself. <laughs> Video. Video. Yeah, video. Video. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I give to them. They sacrifice to the poor. Father, my brother, no face suffer anymore. Mount a case, people lack not the club. I'm set to love the case. Everything fully boss. My brother can't lace them. My shoes on the ground. Much less we live for the better tomorrow. Me fuck up property. Even my brother on the road. Left me a prima, richer than poor. Glory magnifies me. This is the future. Fate testifies me. This is the rapture. In the boy about later, the real avenger. Suck them a bloody me. No need a water watcher. You must talk about the England wife. From one of one boy, you never check a side. Let a mask come on. I'm fish your eyes. They shouldn't say sit down. The world be sky, me run from them like COVID 19. Tell them I'm not play umpty dumpty. Well, I don't want to them out like boys. You can't stifle people, but I'm not strong like science. If you but I tell you later, I'm sure they send me tough. Me ride the police city when we can't give a fuck. No bloody action, but I just keep it strong. Walk one for the lip of them, I dip on the road. Sell out, sell out, they must sell off a man can't make fuck. Hey, okay. So, what's your artist name? Fifi Bansi, I rap in life. I'm in here, Fifi Bansi, right now. I'm not play fancy. You have to watch out. I mean, say, I'll be a risk fooling on me jeans. You don't know. Hello, so we are at the airport. Sorry if I'm talking too close to the camera. Um, it's just that I don't want to yell. And it's still a little weird to vlog when, you know, there's people around me. But, um, so today we're going to Ivory Coast. Hopefully we make the flight. Hopefully I'm able to get on the flight. And um, we're matching. Yes. <laughs> What are we wearing? Um, we're wearing her brand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, actually, what's the name of your brand? Chris Glam. Chris Glam. You can find it on Instagram. I'll put on the information yeah, in the description the below. It's exclusive. It's not on it yet. Oh, it's not online yet? Oh, okay. So never mind what I said. <laughs> but it's coming soon. It's coming. It's coming up soon. It's, but it's exclusive it's for now. Update. So. We need a visa to go to Ivory Coast, right? And I did it from New York. And apparently I went on the wrong website because, well, one, I never got the visa and they were saying at least if I was, if I had the receipt or something, they could look it up. But that website never sent me the receipt and I kind of like never checked again. Didn't really pay attention to it. So now we're here at the airport and it doesn't look like we're about to leave today. We might have to go to the Ivory Coast Embassy and try to do it same day, but then we will miss our flight. And they only have one flight to Ivory Coast per day um, out of Ghana. So we're going at least for like a weekend, but now like from Friday coming back Sunday, but now we're thinking like even if we get the visa and we leave tomorrow so that means we are going to Ivory Coast only for 24 hours and like we're wondering if it's even worth it to do that so I don't know we're a little disappointed right now I mean and it's because of me because she has her visa I don't she has contacts in Ivory Coast and the people there are saying that they're gonna check and see if they can do something but the thing is like we're cutting it close because now we only have 15 minutes to check in. This is her face. <laughs> She's so disappointed. <laughs> we were so hyped and now we're like, uh, <laughs> all right. So let's see what happens.
orphanage. Okay. Yeah, this one. Oh, she can do it. Yeah.